I'm going to be doing a very different, interesting deck review today. This is um, one, I'm not, you know, normally I can pretty much get on the side of a deck, but this time I'm a little, I, I'm not sure about this one. I wouldn't ever use this one. It's nice to have my collection, but not something I'd use, okay? Uh, these are the Bicycle Faded Blues. I'm going to come up to the camera a little bit so you guys can see these a little bit better, a little clear. Okay. They... Got some interesting color choices on them. Let's see if I can get that. Boom. All right. Pretty much a standard bicycle deck, or what used to be a bicycle deck before they screwed them up with the standards and got rid of that nice backing design on there. Oh, I'm sorry, actually, this would be closer to an Agalus to a jumbo index because it's got the slide. Whatever. I'm going to crack these open here. I'm really not that big of a fan of these. Um, just Bicycle Vintage. It's a little ad card that comes with it. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Eco. Bicycle Eco deck. They have that little card thing on there. When you first open the deck and you see this as the back design, you're going, oh, geez, I hope they didn't write this on every single card. You know, I, I saw that with the, with the Bicycle Eco deck. I was like, oh, they just screwed up a, what could have been a good deck. But uh, luckily, it's just that one ad card. Okay. So, that's good. And then this card is kind of an enigma. It came in there. It says, brought to you by the makers of Bicycle B, Cam, and Hoyle. Custom customize a deck of your own. Details available at usplaincard.com. Place your logo here. I, I, I understand this part. I don't understand this part. Like, wh where am I supposed to place my logo? Um, it, it didn't come with stickers or anything. So I don't, I don't, I don't really get that. Um, yeah, so that's the other ad card. Get rid of that. Now let's get into the deck themselves, okay? Now, they, they, they have, they're a very interesting color choice. I'll tell you this, my, my fiance likes them. She thinks they're neat. As far as the color and uh, all that kind of stuff, the faded look of them. They do remind you a lot of the Illusionist deck, the, um, the 1800s deck. They do have that kind of quality to them, but then they got the blue and the brown. Um, this is I would call this the American Blue Jean deck, is what I call it, not the Bicycle Faded. Okay, It's kind of got... It's got kind of an American blue jean kind of country boy feel to it. It's it's okay, you know. Uh, one thing I really don't like about it is the back design and the face designs. They are one way, and they're very obvious one way. Don't like that. Um, you can see the different orientation of the cards, even like whenever they're, like, I don't know, let's see if I them out for you. You can see this right here. You can see it's got the white, 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 and then it's got like blank and then it's it's just it's weird and wonky and not not my favorite deck um, I would definitely keep these in a collection I mean you know this is from what I understand not a very common deck of cards I've never seen these in a store I got these from Poker Stud 52 um, so they're, they're not very common and they're probably really good to hold on to and, and use in your collection some of these some people might like these you know uh, doesn't fit my personal tastes it's okay. I never really liked the faded deck of cards. I like making them look like, like making a brand new deck look like crap. I don't like them printed <laughs> to, to look like they've been beat up already. So, um, not my favorite uh, deck of cards. But I'll show you the Ace and the Jokers as with all of my reviews. Get you kind of nice little. That's another th choice I didn't like is the uh, the blue diamonds. They one they're they're too light and they kind of fade into the design too much. And they just look kind of wonky. I never liked teal. It's my birthstone, and I like uh, cute air. What do they call it? I don't know. Uh, topaz. Topaz. I'm uh, February. Or, uh, talking about. I'm a December birthday. Uh, my, my fiance said February birthday, and I put her before me. Um, she's a. I'm a December birthday. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. Not my favorite stone. Okay. I, I kind of crapped out on that one. Um, but here are the Aces and the Joker. It's pretty standard, pretty bi regular bicycle design, but I keep these for all that kind of stuff. Boom, right? The Joker. And then this is just for future reference for generations' posterity's sake that they'll know what they what these look like, okay? As far as handleability, they're they're really good. They're they're about you know standard bicycle deck. They're cut 
decently. Um, they handle well. They do fans and cuts and spreads and all that. They're, they're pr pretty much handled like a regular bicycle deck, which is probably what they are with just a new print shop. So, <clears throat> there you go. That would be the first deck that I'm really not too crazy about. Um, you know, normally I can get on the side of a deck and I'm, I'm, I love it or whatever, but uh, these I wasn't, I wasn't too, uh, too thrilled. These were, I got an interesting design, always great for collection. Um, you know, I would, I would definitely have a pack and keep these. I'm not going to just pitch them or anything, but um, kind of, kind of wonky, kind of weird looking. I, I never liked the faded decks. That's kind of my thing. Uh, it's just, they, I mean, the handleability on these are a lot better than the 1800s deck, though. I'm, I told you I'm not doing any reviews or, or any custom decks, and but that's the farthest I'm going to say. I'm going to kind of cross the border there a little bit. Um, not, they handle a lot better than the 1800s deck does. Uh, if you want, if you like that kind of style, definitely go for them. If not, even if you're a collector or whatever, they're not a very common deck of cards, so I would definitely pick one up, hold on to it, and then in 20 years you can be on an antique road show, make a million dollars, and retire very happily. Okay, so um, definitely pick them up if you like them, or if you want, if you want to, if you just gotta have them for your collection. Um, for a regular everyday use deck, um, I would say new. I, I don't think that they're worth it. So uh, that's pretty much my review. I know it's a little. I'm kind of sad because I, I like to, you know, I like to talk about the good things about uh, decks and everything. But this is the one I was just not loving too much. So uh, take that with a grain of salt. You know, obviously make your own decision. Um, I don't know everything. So that's that. Uh, definitely check out all my other reviews and uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks very much, guys. I'll talk to you soon.